All right, so today we're gonna be comparing the papoosh. We have got the PPSH in Call of Duty World at W. Can't say the last word on YouTube. I tried to say in past videos, and YouTube don't like that, so we gotta roll with that. Uh, we've also got the PPSH in Black Ops 3, and now finally in the new Call of Duty WW2 as well. And this is going to be a good one. You guys seem to like the M1911 and AK-74U weapon comparison I did. It was like uh, Black Ops 1 versus Black Ops 2 versus Black Ops 3 weapon mod. Model. You know what I'm saying, right? And I decided to do the same for the PP as well. If there's any gun that you want me to compare, or if there are two different weapons you want me to do a versus off, let me know in the comments. And also, real quick, shout out to these guys for subscribing. If you're new to the channel, hey, make sure to subscribe. And let me know in the comments so I can feature you in my next video. And I will be featuring some more of you during this video as well. I, I got you, but... PPSH is a classic. I feel like in the new Call of Duty, everyone expected it to be there because, of course, the time and the setting, you know what I'm saying. And I'm so glad they brought it back yet again. Now, I will compare the model, the sound, and everything, and we're gonna start from Call of Duty World at W. Now, I will throw a picture on the screen just so we're on the same page, and this is the description of the Reaper itself. It says, if upgraded via pack bench machine and threes, the gun is entitled the Reaper and has a magazine size of 115. That seems to rise that of a machine gun. This may be a reference to element 15. Oh, it is. God damn. It has a vast increase in damage, doing more damage than the MG42 and M1919 Browning, even if both are upgraded, but it still burns through ammo very quickly. Oh, my, my, my boy PP, you know what I'm saying? So, it advised that the player has a backup weapon that they can use. The Reaper also features a decrease of recoil. Its fire rate is increased to around 1600 RPM guys, that's my boy PP and adding double tap root beer would be boost or would boost it all the way up to nearly 2000 RPM making this weapon be used up very quickly now here's the chart of the PPSH 41 now the damage is 60 to 100 and when its path is 80 to 150 it's fully automatic the rate of fire is 1250 RPM when it's non pap and uh, when you pap it it's 1578 closer to 1600 and if you get double tap it's gonna be 2000 which is just crazy the magazine size is 71 rounds in the mag or the drum mag and 355 in reserve but however once you pack punch this B it has 115 in the drum mag and 700 in reserve which is just crazy uh, it has the reload speed of 2.1 if you reload midway through if you have one bullet left or whatever right but when the magazine is dry it's gonna take you 2.8 seconds to reload the mobility is high of course my boy PP you know what I'm saying but now I'm gonna play the sound hear it out and we'll move on to Black Ops 3 So as you guys heard, it sounds sort of metallic, which is the real sound of the PPSH-41. That's why I love this thing. The, the model itself is so sexy. It's the metallic, it's like the chrome, it's just mm, absolutely love it. Of course, this was uh, like years ago, so that's why the graphics aren't that good. But the sound is so, so good. It's like you're shooting metal. It's basically the real sound. What else can I say? But now moving over to the Black Ops 3 side of things. Now, we first got the PPSH-41 uh, in Gorod Krovi, and of course, we have it in the multiplayer as well but the normal one of course it does the same damage 100 to 60 and 150 to 80 when it's papped it's automatic for sure it has 71 ammo in the drum mag and 426 in reserve when it's non pap but in multiplayer it has 71 ammo in the drum mag when you actually attach the drum mag and 213 in reserve that's multiplayer but when you actually pack punch in zombies it's gonna have 690 in reserve just like 10 ammo less than the world at W version and 115 in the drum mag which is just insane and of course the mobility is high. Now when I saw this thing coming out from the mystery box in the trailer of Gora Krovi and I can say on behalf of a lot of people the same like shit was crazy absolutely loved this thing and a lot of people had their nostalgic boner for it as well and uh, in Black Ops 3 it's a wooden model of PPSH that sort of looks like plastic I'm not gonna lie and don't get it twisted though it's just uh, me comparing because I love this thing 
thing a lot of people assume you're hating if you compare so don't get it twisted I love all the models but of course some more than the others the sound is really not that great the firing rate seemed to be super slow in black ops 3 side of things although I actually played the sound while having double tap but don't worry I will actually go down and I will lose my perkaholic just for the video and I will play the sound without me having double tap so check it out and we'll move on to Call of Duty WW2 Now, as you guys heard the sound, it's not that great when we compare this with the World at W version. Of course, the World at W version was the real sound of the PPSH-41. I like to pronounce it that way, I don't know why, but uh, uh, it's it's just that the sound in Black Ops 3 is not real, and it doesn't feel genuine to me, and I don't really like the sound, but I really like the model, although it looks like plastic, like I said, it's a wooden model of the PPSH-41, and the iron sights are great in Black Ops 3 version it's super clear of course the graphics are really the best in black ops 3 in 2017 even but we're now going to move over to the call of duty ww2 now first of all i want to say that this is like coming from the beta so when the full game launches i will do another one and of course by then we're gonna have zombies so it's just gonna be a pure zombies versus video but i just wanted to get this out there because a lot of people were asking me to do one but uh this is coming from the beta which is still going to be the same in the final version as well. Now check this out, the WW2 version looks absolutely amazing. I feel like this is by far the best looking model. I don't say this a lot because in the newer games they F up the guns and everything like that. So in WW2 I really love this thing. The, the metal looks real, that's the thing. In Black Ops 3 the gun looks plastic, it looks like a BB gun if you know what I'm saying. And uh, in WW2 the gun looks real. When you press triangle to inspect it looks so damn real. I have that nostalgic boner for it already but the sound and the firing rate is not that great it doesn't feel real to me so that's that I will let you hear the sound and this time I will compare everything all together and one more thing the iron sights are not quite there but at the same time I like the way it is and the gun looks real that's what I'm saying and really quickly it has 35 ammo in the mag 105 in reserve and when you get the drum mag it's gonna have 52 which is not that great but it got 52 ammo ammo in the mag and 156 in reserve which is not great but I can live with it of course I'm comparing it with other games because in the past games we had 71 normally and uh, then we got like 213 uh, in black ops 3 multiplayer if you know what I'm saying and just by going over into the division section and inspecting the gun itself the damage it says 6 basically 60 the range is 50 accuracy is 6 or 60 the firing rate is 80 and the capacity as you guys, as you guys can see it's 35 to 105 of course that's like without us having the drum mag which is awesome I can live with it it looks really damn great and now I'm gonna play the sound uh, from Call of Duty World at W then I'm gonna play the sound of Black Ops 3 once again and then I'll play the sound of WW2 hear it out and let me know in the comments which version do you like better subscribe if you happen to be new and uh, smash a like if you did enjoy this video and here it is is to delay the enemy until reinforcements arrive and protect our flag guns. That battery will keep enemy bombers out of the skies. 